Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will draw this object in AutoCAD. Let's start. So this is the front view. We will start from front view. In front view, I will draw this portion. All the dimension is given. So first, I will make this rectangle. The length of the rectangle is given, which is 128 mm, and the width is also given, which is 15 mm. Let's draw it. But before starting 3D drawing, make sure that you have to on all these options. So the first and important option is selection cycling. This option is very important while drawing a 3D object in AutoCAD because if we draw a 3D solid and sometimes we need a 2D sketch on the surface of that 3D solid. So it is very difficult to select the 2D sketch or a 3D solid. So to easily select you have to on this option selection cycling. If you not see this option then click on customization and from here click on selection cycling then this option will appear here. And all these options are very important like dynamic input, polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap. All these options are very important while drawing a 3D object. Let's uh, change first top view to front view. Then click on 2D wireframe and click on realistic. Then click on rectangle. Then make a rectangle of 128 mm. Then press comma. Then enter 15. Press enter. So the rectangle is made. Now, this distance is also given from the base, which is 30 mm. And if we see this circle, so the diameter of this circle is 60, which is given over here. It means that the radius of this circle should be 30 mm. And then we will get the center point of both the circles. So let's look at first the center point of these two circles. So click on line, then click on this point and make a vertical straight line of 30 mm. Enter. Then on horizon on horizontal enter 30 mm distance again now precise cap now if we see the diameter of this big circle is 60 mm and the diameter of this circle is 30 mm so click on circle arrow then click on center diameter then make a circle of 60 mm diameter enter and again click on circle uh, circle arrow center diameter and this time make a circle of 30 mm diameter then erase this line and again click on line because if you see the object so it is connected straight to this line so click on this quadrant and make a straight vertical line like this escape now enter tr from the keyboard and double enter press double enter then trim this portion this portion this portion this portion this portion and all these lines <clears throat> now making this line from the edge from the end point of this line and connected with this this circle but tangent to this circle this line must be tangent to this circle because the quadrant is uh, somewhere over here so this line should be tangent to this circle so let's write then click on line click on the end point then enter T A N from the keyboard for tangent press enter then click on this circle anywhere it will automatically tangent to this circle click so it was it will automatically tangent press escape now click on front view click on SW asymmetric and if we see so this distance is 52 mm now our all distance so the press pole distance is 52 mm then click on press pole and click inside and make a press pole of 52 mm distance link and if we see this distance this length is 12 mm and then press pole this portion 12 mm enter escape of this grid mode to see the object clearly like this now we will make this portion <coughs> first I will erase the ink so this uh, this length is 10 mm and this whole length is 26 mm if we minus 15 mm from 26 so it becomes 11 mm so that downward line should be 11 mm and this width 10 mm so all the dimension is given so let's make it right click on line then click on this in point then make a downward vertical line of 11 mm enter then a horizontal line of 10 mm enter then a vertical line of 11 mm again and connected with this in point escape now select all these lines click on this line so click on line this the selection cycling option 
this option help here in selecting this line so all the lines all the lines are selected then enter j from the keyboard for a join enter so this object this these lines are joined now click on press pole and press pull this portion towards this side but if we see this hold distance is 128 mm so click on this portion and press pull it towards this side 128 mm of length it will make like this now we will make this portion so the dimension is given uh, from this line this distance is 20 mm and from this line this distance is 10 mm towards this side and this distance is this length is 15 mm if we divide 15 by 2 so it becomes 7.5 it means that this length is 7.5 so the total distance becomes 17.5 it has 10 mm this 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 length and 7.5 mm this length so the total length becomes 17.5 uh, let's look at first this point which is the diameter of the circle so click on line then click on the end point and make a horizontal line of 20 mm length enter then towards this side enter length of 17 17.5 mm which we calculated and then escape so this is the center point of this circle and the diameter of the circle is 15 mm so let's draw it click on circle arrow center diameter and draw a circle of 15 mm diameter now this length is total 15 mm from starting from this point towards this point so this whole length is 15 mm if we start from this point and make a line of 25 then we mirror this portion so first i will erase this these in uh, these lines let's draw it then you will understand click on line then click on this point now in uh, make a line of 25 mm of length enter then press escape then select this circle click on circle and press mi from the keyboard for mirror enter then click on this point and click straight towards this side click on now so the circle is created and the distance between this point and this point must be 50 mm now again click on line then join the quadrant of this circle with this escape l for line enter then the quadrant of this circle join with this escape and now press pull this portion towards downward because this is a slot so click on press pull then click on this portion towards downward side click on this portion towards downward and click on this towards downward escape now click on union solid solid union then select all this solid enter and click on this move this object towards this side and escape this 2d sketch erase this 2d sketch now the same object is created or here according to this dimension